You ever get an unstoppable craving for chocolate cake? Because I got one right now, and let me tell you, it's gonna be trouble. Let's get to work, Julia. Oh! <laughs> bon appetit. All right, so it's nice to have you all here today in my kitchen while we embark on this completely selfless journey to make myself a cake. A rich, decadent chocolate cake for absolutely no reason besides I want it. I was thinking of all the things I could make today, and I was like, you know what? Nope. Let me eat cake. I'm gonna go into Mastering the Art of French Cooking. To the back of the book, there is a chocolate sponge cake recipe called La Marquis. Now I followed along to this recipe over the holidays for that Yule log. One of the rolled up cakes, remember those? Uh, I'm trying to forget. That's all cracked. That is all cracked. No, 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 no. No cake in this scenario would be complete without chocolate butter icing, which is the last recipe in this whole book. So we're gonna make both of those and we're gonna times it by two because why the hell not? All right, so I'm gonna start off with a small saucepan. Seven ounces, 200 grams of semi-sweet baking chocolate. So I'm gonna reach off camera, grab my coffee and a tablespoon in my pocket and I'm gonna pour in four tablespoons of some strong coffee. What is that? That's three. That's a big tablespoon. That's four and a bit. Julia's always got some creative ways of melting chocolate. My small saucepan into a bigger pan of simmering water. And I'm just gonna let that hang out uh, until the chocolate is completely melted, even though the coffee was basically doing it for me. Bowl me, please. Thank you. All right, so in my bowl, I'm gonna add the egg yolks from six eggs. So I'm gonna beat the egg yolks with my granny mixer, gradually adding in a cup, gradually adding in a cup of sugar until this thing is pale yellow and thickened. Looking for that ribbon stage. I know, I know. Towel underneath. No more moving around. Of course, we gotta scrape down the sides of the bowl while we're at it. Bring the beaters up, and if the mix falls off them and hangs out on the surface for a second until it gradually disappears, uh, ribbon stage. The chocolate has melted, hopefully. Lovely, that is a great method. Okay, so in, whoa, no, 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 no. In with the chocolate, in goes the butter that I'm palming. Remember, I'm doubling the recipe, so that is a good old seven tablespoons of butter. So I gotta beat that in with the chocolate. Let it hang out in the simmering water for a hot second just to get that butter melted. All right, bringing it back over here. What a method for some chocolate sauce here. Look at that. Smooth, glossy, it's everything you want it to be. And more, of course. Make room for the silver fox. The silver fox. Hey, 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 okay. Easy there, girl. Add the egg whites from six eggs. Whisk attachment goes in. Pinch of salt. What we're gonna do here is whip these up into stiff peaks. So we start on low, work our way up. And, well, we've done this 10 bazillion times by now, so we know how it goes. This is just my own personal preference, but I always like to throw in a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar just to be on the safe side to ensure we're getting a little stability. So that was at the foamy stage, but we're gonna hit it and not quit it until we've got those stiff peaks. Stiff peaks. Thank you very much, Silver Fox. Love your work. Thank you. Now in the egg yolk mix, the sides have kind of crusted up a bit. And I know if I start mixing everything together, that's just gonna get the cake batter. Definitely don't want that. So I'm just gonna switch it into a fresh old bowl here. Yes, thank you for asking. I did scrape down the sides of the bowl when I was working on this mix here. Uh, it still happened, it's okay. So the chocolate is tepid, yes. I fold the chocolate and the butter into the batter to start. I'm gonna add in a quarter of the Stiff Peaks. Fold that in first. When you're folding, you're rotating counterclockwise. That's totally clockwise, counterclockwise, yes. Add in a little more Stiff Peaks. Fold that in. Don't do this to me.
Okay, I didn't catch this at first, but these stiff peaks are a bit over overdone, a little bit. I didn't, I'm gonna pour in an egg white. Okay, um, sh Kind of quickly added another egg white into the mix to save it, but I have a bad habit of overworking the eggs lately. But I think it's just a reminder just to not get complacent. This is two third cup of cake flour that I'm just kind of folding in very gently into my mix here, into my batter. I was supposed to alternate between adding the stiff peaks and this flour here, but I completely forgot, so I'm adding in the flour at the end. Bonehead move, I've done it before, but what else can you do in this scenario? I don't want to redo it. Okay, that looks nice. That looks nice. Looks really nice. Tastes nice too. Uh, I got two cake pans here, greased up and parchment paper added to the bottoms. Yeah, we're gonna divide the batter evenly between the two. As far as I can tell, that's pretty even. So when it comes to cake baking with Julia Child's recipes, this is the tricky part. Oven's been preheated to 350F and she tells me to bake this for around 25 minutes. But I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Honestly, I'm just gonna keep my eyes on it. I'm gonna be poking it with a toothpick and when the toothpick comes out clean, that will be done. So it might even be half the 25 minutes. I don't know. Also, I'm gonna be a daredevil and put them both in at the same time. Call me crazy. Remember this moment, my friends, for this was a poor decision. So let's just check it in 13 <laughs> minutes. That will be the halfway mark, or will it be finished at that point? That's the question. Toothpick goes into the cake. If it comes out clean, okay, it's clean. That means the cake's done. Uh, so I've got a... I can't believe I'm able to just grab those. What are these powers? Just let these hang out here for 10 minutes. And after the cakes have started to sink, that means I can Take a knife and run it around the edge. Okay, first cake, over. Honestly, that was a bit of a fool's move because I have this other cake. Where am I supposed to put it? So I'm gonna let these hang out on the cooling rack here for two hours. It's the chocolate butter icing time. I got a small saucepan. Again, this is like the exact same thing I did at the beginning. Four ounces, 110 grams of the semi-sweet baking chocolate. She says you could use coffee, rum. I got the coffee today, so I'm just like, you know what, I'll use that. One tablespoon, two tablespoon, three tablespoon, four. Keep a lid on it. Into the pan with the simmering water again. I burnt the hairs on my hand. It's a lovely smell. Okay, so uh, the chocolate is melted together with the coffee, it looks glorious. 10 to 12 tablespoons of butter. <laughs> okay, I need 10 to 12, 10 to 12 tablespoons of butter. So that's eight, that's nine. Let's add another tablespoon for good luck. I have a feeling that the 10 tablespoons should be enough. So let's just stir that all in with the chocolate and the coffee. All that looks smooth and glossy and beautiful, honestly. Bowl me. Thank you. Ice. Love it. And uh, getting some water as well out of my drinking glass. Ice cube. Into the ice water. Keep it stirring until it has reached a spreading consistency. Whoa. It's a spreading consistency. My favorite and only cake platter. We must dress this cake up at once. These things are really on here. I just need one of them. Wow, what the hell's going on out there? I'm trying to make a cake here. Oh, sh Whoa! Okay, so things have dramatically, uh... Okay, this one is underbaked. But when I did the toothpick, Hmm. This cake is very uh, underbaked. Like, uh, 
I'd say almost like soggy. <laughs> this one is fine, I think. You know what? I think I under... What I'm gonna do, I just read this hack on the interwebs. If I pop both of them back into an oven set to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, and I just kind of slow cook them until they are cooked all the way through, I think I just got a bit too excited. You know what happens when you're making cakes. Cover the cakes up with some foil so they don't burn. And I'm gonna watch them like a freaking hawk. Cross my fingers, both of them. All right, so I have lost a little bit of the top here, but good news, this cake is no longer soggy. It took another like, <laughs> another 10 minutes in the oven. So Julia was correct with that 25 minutes. Uh, we're just gonna do the old fashioned flipperoo. I bet you now this is stuck to the cake pan. Oh, just my luck. Man, you're just falling apart right now, aren't you? How does that even happen? So this cake right here has some serious problems. Um, it got stuck on the cake pan and I wasn't expecting it to because it was already baked. And uh, I thought it would just go in the oven for a few minutes and be done with it. But I didn't think to like re-grease up the cake pan, you know what I mean? Um, and it's come back to haunt me. So I guess if I just do a little patchwork with the icing, it should be right as rain, right? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I could redo it, but honestly, honestly, man. There's absolutely no reason why I should enjoy making cake. I, I don't really like, I mean, I've just had too many terrible memories, but you need a lot of them for manipulation. <gasps> oh. And uh, I thought I could get away from all those problems and make myself a simple chocolate cake. And I still did this. This is all on me. All I had to do was listen to Julia's 25 minute baking time. If I had done that, I wouldn't be standing here with my eyes squinted. So I have kind of used the icing a bit as a, like a hot glue gun to glue all those pieces of the cake back together again. I'll leave that in there for 10 minutes, I guess. <sighs> the wheels fell off and they just went rolling down the road. I'm stuck here with a broken carriage. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this cake. You're gonna eat it and you're gonna have a good time. We're taking the icing. First, cover up our mistakes like it was never there. So when you're ready for the nice layer of cake, that goes on top. And hey, all of a sudden we got something here. All right, so now the problem is you've run out of icing. Okay, so I'm gonna get this into the freezer. So instead of freaking coffee this time around, I'm gonna add four tablespoons of rum. Glad you're doing business with you. So there's the chocolate melted with the rum. Tablespoon at a time of butter and melt it. And up to 10 tablespoons worth. I'm going out with a bang today. Okay. Let's bring the ice water back over here. I did refill it with more ice. No fancy tricks this time. I'm gonna to continue to stir the chocolate until it turns into a spreading consistency. Okay, I mean, look at that. So I kind of just stopped short with stirring the icing while it was in the water to make it look shiny and glossy. Because I figure that if I can make up for it in the looks department with this, 
then hopefully you guys forget about what's going on on the inside. Honestly, just looking at this thing, you would never know the day I just had. Order up! That's not half bad. I mean, you'd be a fool not to have a second slice, right? It's pretty good, pretty good. Guardian angel looking out for me or horseshoes up my ass, but uh, somehow this turned out. When it comes to cake, and this goes to that orange cake that I made last year, and it goes with this cake and the Yule log, any cake, if there's a will, there's a way. Don't give up with these freaking cakes. Don't let them win. Because when you start printing them up, it doesn't matter how it looks before that. It all tastes the same. What the hell is going on? At the end of the day here, this thing is freaking delicious. It's rich, it's decadent. The cake part of it on the inside, dare I say, is moist. I hate the word, but I mean, when you're describing cake, I guess it's acceptable. I loved every part of it. I had two slices, might have a third. You know, I got a bit of a sugar rush and I had a little too much scotch. But if I, yeah, I still might have a third. This was Jamie and Julia. Bon appetit. Au revoir. <laughs>